Thank you. Madam President, the honorable representatives, dear friends, I salute you all. I would like to express my gratitude to Mrs. Maxova for arranging this conference on the situation and role of women in Iran in the present crucial circumstances. First, allow me to read the message of resistance female prisoners and protesters in Iran. Their message is, we, the Iranian imprisoned in Evin, declare with firm uh, belief and without any fear, Khamenei, we will overthrow you. Rebellious women across Iran challenge the regime and say, we are your nightmare. Know that uh, you will be overthrown. Dear friends, unfortunately, many around the world have known Iran through its association with fundamentalism, warmongering, terrorism, and the crimes committed by the ruling mullahs. But there is another force that is building the future of Iran. That force is the Iranian people's resistance. At the heart of this movement are the struggles and sacrifices of Iranian women. Many reports have been published on the difficult circumstances of Iranian women, including stoning, uh, violent discrimination, uh, oppressive laws, little economic participation, mandatory hijab, forced marriages of girls, children, and many other forms of oppression. The mullahs have established a horrible model of misogyny, which they have exported to other Muslim countries that is like their export of war and terrorism. The more significant reality is the resistance of Iranian women who uh, protest against uh, such a regime. The Iranian women's resistance stands as a remarkable example in modern history. Over the past 45 years, tens of thousands of Iranian women have been tortured or executed for their people's freedom. Women's uh, presence at the forefront of the uprisings as the world witnessed in 2022 has such a history. With this background, Iran's leading women have been able to undertake the leadership of an organized resistance inside Iran and abroad that rejects any form of dictatorship, be it the Shah or the Mullahs. This development shows a deep cultural and social change in the heart of Iranian society, which certainly has a uh, profound effect on the future of Iran and Muslim societies. Women's leadership represents a new strategy for changing relationships in modern societies against corruption, uh, poverty, and destruction of environment and for activating social capacities to move forward. The emergence of women and their leadership in the resistance is an essential condition for the liberation of all Iranian uh, from the rule of tyranny and fundamentalism. A society where women have equal rights and freedom uh, religious uh, compulsion cannot be imposed. And we believe that pioneering women would finally defeat the religious dictatorship ruling Iran. Their active and equal participation in political leadership is essential for democracy. Honorable representatives, with the expansion of the terrible war in the Middle East, it is evident that the root of war and terrorism is in Tehran. Over the past six months, Khamenei, uh, the regime's leader, has 
repeatedly praised proxy groups in the region for continuing this conflict. By fueling war and promoting violence, he seeks a way out of the crisis that is created by the Iranian people's uprisings. The explosive discontent within society is the uh, primary threat to the regime. Because uh, of this discontent, the recent elections became a significant scandal for Khamenei. It was the lowest turnout in the history of the Mullah's rule. According to official figures, uh, candidates uh, who entered uh, the parliament in Tehran received votes from a maximum of 7% of uh, eligible voters. However, the actual turnout was likely even lower. For years, Western governments tried to contain their regime by offering concessions. However, the mullahs not only accepted these concessions, but also used them to expand their nuclear and missile programs and fuel conflicts across the Middle East. So the question is, what is a realistic solution? The solution is to recognize the Iranian people's struggle for the regime's overthrow. At the heart of this resistance, the Iranian women are serving as the force for change. This year on International Women's Day, 400 political personalities and women's rights mm -hmm. defenders, including numerous uh, legislators uh, from around the world, in a statement said, it is our duty to stand in solidarity with the courageous women of Iran and their demand for regime change and the establishment of democracy, gender equality, and justice. This statement is the model of a correct policy. Supporting the Iranian people's resistance and the central role of Iranian women protesters is the core of a real solution. Our platform for the future of Iran advocates for a democratic republic based on the separation of religion and the state, gender equality, the abolition of the death penalty, the autonomy of uh, nationalities, and a non-nuclear Iran. In 1987, the National Council of Resistance of Iran adopted a plan for women's rights and freedom in Iran, which, uh, among others, guarantees the following rights for women. Ending all oppressive discrimination against women by the clerical regime. Commitment to all the rights and freedom of women. Full equality of social, political, cultural, and economic rights of men and women. The right to elect and be elected in all elections. Freedom of dress and clothing. Holding any position, including the uh, presidency, political leadership, and judgeship. I thank you again for this occasion, and I have no doubt uh, that by ending the religious dictatorship ruling Iran, peace and security will return to the region and the world. Thank you all. <laughs>